Hey guys, this is Dude Man, and uh, it's part of the Dude Man Show. I have made it to New Hampshire, and which is a good thing. I'm uh, got through Vermont and had some really good hiking there. Here's the Dartmouth Football Stadium, and hiking to the town of Hanover. It crosses over from one town in uh, Vermont, and, and then crosses over into Hanover. So uh, across the Connecticut River, my doggone phone uh, battery died on me when I was crossing the river, but I do have a uh, uh, picture of the river and the picture of the New Hampshire Vermont line. So you'll see that on the Dude Man Show. But we're, uh, as uh, I've showed you before, you hike on city streets sometimes, but uh, I'm hiking towards that mountain there. This is a small mountain range compared to what I'm fixing to go go through, but uh, I had a breakfast this morning at a uh, outdoor tenting area outside of a restaurant, and uh, two or three of the hikers I hiked with yesterday, Dio and Hungry, uh, hiked with me uh, yesterday, and uh, they uh, met me there at the restaurant, and another guy named Blue Moon, we all sit there and had breakfast together this morning, and it was so cool to see a... Uh, one of the hikers uh, asked for, do you have any packets of mayo? And uh, he wanted a whole handful. And that's the way uh, hikers are. They have to uh, uh, buy, get condiment, condiments and uh, help them. There's a blaze. Uh, you, you get condiments from different restaurants and you enhance the food that you're eating and kind of helps you along the, the trail and stuff like that. But you beg, borrow, uh, and I have a feeling sometimes, occasionally, steal <laughs> stuff to, uh, uh, which I don't encourage. But uh, they, uh, you know, to, to make you make it on the trail and and get from uh, Springer Mountain, Georgia, all the way to Katahdin, Maine. And man, I only have two more states left. I have New Hampshire and Maine, and that is it. I have done 12 of the 14 states, and uh, I am excited for this journey. I uh, currently have like uh, 440 some miles left to go, July 29th, and uh, hopefully by the end of August, I can get those done, because I'm doing about 100 miles a week, but I have these New Hampshire mountains coming up, and feeling my average is going to drop from 15, between 15 and 20 down to uh, between 10 and 15. If I can stay above 12, stay above 12, I can meet my goal of the first weekend of September. Alright. I see another white blaze out of the side of that semi truck and we're going to keep on keeping on. Dude man out. Hey there, it's Dude Man, another part of the Dude Man Show. Um, when you see this stuff on the trail, and it's across a really nice part of the trail, you can tell how the trail is worn through there. It's different than the leaf fluff on the side of the trail, something like that. But it's a real worn out trail, you, and you can tell it's been marched on before. But when you see this stuff across the trail, don't walk right across of it. There's a good chance there's a turn and uh, I have made that mistake and just, you know, it's, oh man, this trail's really nice. It's wide and, and there's no rocks, no boulders, no roots. And, you know, it's really nice to walk through. You might want to backtrack a little bit. If you cross one of these, you might need to backtrack and look for your turn. This one is obvious. This one is obvious. Obviously you can tell it's a right turn here, but you got to be careful when you're walking down the Appalachian Trail to, not to miss this. If you see rocks or, or trees or, or limbs or something like that piled across the trail and it doesn't seem to be right, then you might want to think carefully about proceeding down the trail because that looks really nice going down through there. It's wide, it's got a, uh, it's looked like it's well taken care of, but it's a side trail going to something else, something that you don't want to go to because the trail actually goes this way. And as you can tell, as we go along, and the first blaze is usually not that noticeable 
going down the trail but there it is for this particular section and see this is not as smooth as the other trail it's a it's angled and you got roots and rocks and all other kind of stuff poked in there all right dude man out Hey guys, this is Dude Man, trying to do a 19 miler today, uh, going to New Hampshire 25. Yes, I am in New Hampshire, and uh, a lot of rocky outcrops along this ledge here, as you can tell, and I have uh, one understand, from what I understand, this is typical of what it's going to look like for the ledges and the, you get up on some of these mountain tops that we go to New Hampshire, but this is the views that I'm gonna get along the way. And this is not even close to what, how great it's gonna look like. It's gonna get better and better as I go to this. New Hampshire is gonna be spectacular. All right, dude man out. It's Dude Man, and uh, I'm here on top of Smart Mountain, mile marker 17. Oh, hey, it's Dude Man. I'm at mile marker 1774 on top of Smart Mountain. I'm in. Damn, Hey, it's Dude Man, and I'm here on mile marker 1774 on top of Smart Mountain, and there's a fire tower here. It is July 30th, and I am in, in the state of New Hampshire, and uh, it's been a pretty good hike. Uh, doing a 19 today. I was supposed to have done a, a 16 yesterday. I only did 13 yesterday. Uh, I've been having some stomach issues, but, you know, I'm trying my best to hike through this and feel as comfortable as I can. And, because I only did 13 yesterday instead of 16. Today is a 19, but that's just part of it. And uh, my stomach's starting to feel a little bit better. been working on it. But uh, like I said, we're up here on Smart Mountain. You know what's so great about uh, uh, being on Smart Mountain? You can do smart things sometimes. Like, for instance, uh, I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail this year with a support vehicle. I'm a whole lot smarter than what I look. Also, you could say stuff like from uh, the show, Get Smart, and Don Adams, he would say something like, Miss me by that much. So that's my impression of uh, Don Adams on Get Smart. Um, the, uh, so anyway, there's a fire tower here, and, uh, and we're going to climb in here in just a moment so we can check it out and see what kind of uh, views we can get up there. And I know it's going to be a pretty cool thing. Let's go up there and check, check it out.
Hey, it's Dude Man in New Hampshire. Mile marker 1793.3. Trail this year is 2,193 miles. I have less than 400 miles to go on July 31st. And that's incredible. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be doing Mount Musilaki. And that's going to be an eight mile day. Yesterday, I did 19 and a half miles. Took me 13 hours to do it. Uh, one of three times that I've actually hiked in the dark, but this time I hiked in the dark a lot more than I wanted to. It was not a pleasant time, especially because I had to do a little bit of bushwhacking. Came one of the, uh, kept up and over the six summits of Mount Cube uh, yesterday. And I'm serious, caught some incredible uh, sunset photos up there and it seemed like Mount Cube actually dad did have six summits but that was a part of a 19 and a half mile day yesterday today I'm doing 11 and uh, went over Mist Mountain <laughs> played the song uh, Misty Mountain Hop by Led Zeppelin when I went over it that was kind of cool but uh, the New Hampshire Trail has been pretty neat um, I like uh, how they're uh, doing it so far uh, some of the climbs up on Mount Cube was really interesting with the uh, solid granite uh, faces and stuff. Uh, down, going down off of Mount Cube was not as pleasant I'd hoped for it to be, uh, especially getting a little bit of disoriented through a creek, one of the creek, first creek crossings. Had to bushwhack uphill a little ways to get back on trail. Bushwhacking is not fun at all. But uh, my headlamp had uh, started dimming some and uh, so I changed the batteries out this morning before I left on the trail. I'm not doing any nighttime hiking today. I'm only doing 11 and uh, oh wow, that chipmunk is not moving at all. Look at that, I mean, he is right there at the camera, just checking things out. Usually they run, Let's see if I can do, oh, now no, he's ran. But if I see if I can get a little bit of zoom in there. He is just checking things out. Look at that thing. That is so cool. Oh, wow. So cool to see nature out here on the trail and check things out like that. But uh, uh, like I said, uh, oh, wow. He he chirped as I walked away. Like, whoa, supposed to be some food. But uh, Musilaki tomorrow and uh, going to open over it for an eight-mile day. Hey, stay tuned to the Dude Man Show, and we've got some great views coming up soon. Dude Man out. Nice swimming holes here in New Hampshire. Almost through for my 11 mile day. Got my feet wet a while ago, intentionally. Not here at this particular water source, but um, try to cool the feet down. July 31st, 80 degrees. But, uh, Musalaki tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. Dude man out. All right, new addition to the uh, Tramley, Pratt Brother. Been watching this guy sign in. They have caught a lot of rats. How many rats you up to? 185. 185. And what name are you a part of the Pratt Brothers? Um, I go by Trapper. Trapper, okay. All right. Now, was, isn't there, uh, what's the name of the other, one of the other Pratt? Uh, Star-Lord or something? Yeah, his name's Chris Pratt, just like the actors. So. Okay. Star Lord. This from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the movie, uh, he comes up. I'm Star Lord. Who? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you got to be part of the duo, uh, Dude Man Joe. Dio, where's your plans, man? Moose of luck. 
All right, dude. Get to the top and see where it goes from there. All right, well, you. You have, I will see you guys on the other side tomorrow. I'm see hiking. You